15 months, die free, yay. Come celebrate with me. Let's hear about what's been happening in 15 months. Hey, I'm Haji at The Great Indian. Welcome to my channel. My channel is all about my gray hair journey. I've been going gray now for over, um, over a year. So it was February when I had started, February last year. Um, my channel is all about makeup, hair, over 40, and just talking about my tips and tricks, how I find applying makeup has changed now, and also talking about my experiences and where I'm at with my gray hair. So if you like the sound of that, give me a subscribe, hit the notifications. My video comes out every Sundays, and um, you'll get the notification for my, when my video is out, so you won't miss a thing. Right, so today, we're gonna be talking about my 15 months. So, this is my hair, how I regularly just wear my hair. So I have not curled it, kinked it, blow dried it, straightened it, nothing to my hair. I have no product in it. And it was washed about two days ago, I know. Um, but I'm getting better at washing my hair now. Um, but uh, yeah, so this is like, a, this is two, this is a two days wash. And I usually generally tend to get my kinks all the way back here. It's really bizarre. Um, but more straight from the front. Um, I have found now, given 15 months, you can see that, look at the growth pattern. Look at the, I like wearing my hair on this side simply for this reason, because I love the way that the gray looks on this side. Um, the way it comes down over here, it just, I love it. When I wear it on this side, I feel like it's a lot more subtle, as you can see. So I still have it coming down here, but it isn't as much over here. And you will find this, that as you go on um, with your gray journey down the line, um, at first it's like, oh, I just want it to grow, I just want it to grow. And then what happens is you get to this point where you just really are loving the growth. It's like, I love my hair so much at the moment. Um, I, and I know that might sound really strange to some people, but my sisters have got gray hair and embraced it. You will understand. I love my hair. I love, I, you know, I am rooting for these roots to grow longer and longer. What I'm gonna do today, right? I thought, I haven't done this, by the way. I've just saved this, especially for you guys. I have taken this out. And we're going to measure how long my longest white hair is. So from what I could see, it is actually along here somewhere where I can probably get the longest white hair and I can see it better. So this is why I'm wearing a black top today. So look, now I know it's not easy to tell because I do have a, um, I do have blonde in my hair as well. This one over here. Now. Let's see if you guys can see this. Can you see this? This blonde hair? I mean, this white hair? Right. So we're going to measure this. We're going to see how long... I'm so worried about pulling this out by accident. And trust me, when you do start growing out your greys, and you see one of your greys fall out, honestly, it is such a tragic moment. Normally with your hair, you might not care, but when it's your greys, because you've just been waiting for them to grow, it's pretty tragic when they, when they do break. Okay, so from what I can see, wow, it looks like my longest grey hair has just made it to just past 34 centimetres. Amazing. So um, things that I've changed, let's say, let's see, since I've been going gray, I um, use a microfiber towel, towel in my, in my hair. Um, if you haven't started using one, even if you don't have gray hair, highly recommend it. It is amazing. The way it absorbs um, the wet, the water from your hair, it leaves a lot of moisture in your hair. Usually when I've washed my hair, this area over here tends to be quite rough because of the bleach that I've got in it. Um, after I used, started using the towel, I was amazed at how great my hair actually felt and looked just from using that towel. I cannot rate them enough. It cuts down, if you are someone who blow, blow dries your hair, if you're someone who straightens your hair, 
it really cuts down on the blow drying time because of the way that it's dried your hair it's it's um you just don't need to dry it as much as you would if you used a normal towel and um with my hair like i said about the kinks i just found that even at the front the kinks actually came into the front as well and sat really nicely it looked like my hair just had really nice natural style to it so i was really happy with that so come 15 months now i've had my first negative comment i had it about i think three four weeks ago somebody it was a family member who just said that they think i look old i know right um but you know i think it was just a bit of banter and i went back with the same kind of banter um but it didn't really faze me um i just thought you know what it's okay they said it they were maybe trying to be funny but um it didn't make me think that oh my gray hair oh like give me a complex about what i'm looking like i love my hair did i say that earlier i did didn't i yeah i love my hair so you know you're gonna you're gonna find that that will happen um people i mean i haven't actually experienced a stranger say it to me and i don't know how i would react to it if it was a stranger someone just random on the street just saying something about my hair um i know i wouldn't stay quiet i'm not one of those people i would definitely say something back but i don't know what and i know that my blood will probably boil inside i'll probably feel a little bit of rage and i think that's just normal isn't it um it's not just about the gray hair if, it's if anyone comments on anything about you in a negative way regardless of what it is you kind of do feel what right that person has to comment about it you're a stranger you don't even know me anyway moving on from that i use purple shampoo i would say every every sixth or seventh wash i don't find that i need to use purple shampoo that often um in in the early days i did i felt like i needed purple shampoo a lot more to brighten up these the whites but now what I'm finding is because of the way that my blonde is um, and that's still growing out, I feel that actually maybe such a bright white contrast doesn't look as great as when it's just looking natural and then can basically just blend in with, with, with that. I mean, there's no blending in. Who are we kidding? You can see that it's white. I mean, whether I use purple shampoo or not, these babies are sparkling away. But yeah, um, purple shampoo can dry your hair. So just use it with caution if you are using it. Also, I wanna show you my hair at the back here. So I am my hair growth tends to be on the hairline. So I think at the back, because my hair's shorter, there are hairs that have fully transitioned now. Don't know if you can see that, put it against my black top. But, um, there's a, there's a few whites just over there and they have, they're fully transitioned. They've come through now all the way because of the fact that this it's shorter at the back and um, it feels absolutely fine. What do I use for shampooing my hair? So I'm going to be doing something on Instagram about um, my, I had some hair loss, nothing to do with gray hair, all to do with a diet that I didn't do properly. Um, and I'm still on it. I just, I'm doing it properly now. Um, but, uh, yeah, I lost a hell of a lot of hair and it really, really stressed me out. But, um, every time I washed it, I ordered, um, products with like collagen in it, um, as in like shampoos. I ordered many other things and I just found nothing was working until I tried a particular Garnier soap bar. And I just found that at that time when my head was shedding, I needed something as gentle as what that soap bar was. So it just did wonders for me. Now what I use is I go in between the Garnier soap bars and in between um, Faith and Nature, Faith in Nature um, with their shampoo, the aloe vera one. And those are the two that I, you know, usually alternate between. And then every now and again, stick the purple shampoo just at the front over here to lighten these up a bit, take out any tinge of yellow. And that is what I do to take care of my hair. I, um, before I wash my hair, I put in, um, I bought some green tea, put in some essential oils. If you want me to go through my hair routine of what I actually do in detail, um, I'm more than happy to share that with you, but um, I will, yeah, apply that before I wash my hair, leave it in for at least 30 minutes. 
and um, yeah, and then and then wash it out. And I feel like that's really helped with the hair loss and also the condition, the condition of my hair. You know, you've it's a combination of things. I can't say there's one right thing, but I do find that I tend to use a lot less product in my hair, even before. Um, I was, you know, constant. I, I was always the kind of person that I wash my hair and it just come out like this and I'm just going to leave it like this. I'm not really a blow drying kind of person. I like to have a bit of a rough kind of look to my hair and, and more of a natural look. So I also don't brush my hair after it's been washed. Um, I use this BF wood brush. It's made of wood. The bristles are very different to a plastic brush, let's put it this way, it took some getting used to, but I just give my hair a brush before I go into the shower, before I'm gonna wash my because hair. Because I don't plow my hair on top of my head when I'm washing it, so it's literally just working with the scalp, the shampoo goes through, a bit of conditioner at the back, and then I put the microfiber towel on, and I honestly don't feel like I actually need to brush or comb my hair after that, because if I can run my fingers through my hair without it getting stuck in any knots, I'm, I'm good with that. So yeah, that's another thing that I've changed and that I kind of do with my hair. So yeah, that's my gray hair journey. Um, this is where I'm at now. If you're not already, give me a follow on Instagram. You can see what my journey's been like from the start, from February, where it was like literally this much growth and um, to how it's grown so much longer now. Just remember, everyone's growth is different as well. I thought I would have a lot more silver, but I'm not. I'm a hairline silver girl. Um, and, you know, for you, it might be all silver um, or something like mine. Everybody's different. Everybody's growth pattern is different. And I think it's so beautiful to every individual how your greys grow. There's no replicating it, you know. Everyone is each to, is each to their own. Um, so I hope you enjoyed today's video, um, just talking about my 15 month update. Um, if there's any questions you have, any comments you'd like to make, just put them down in the, in the boxes below. Comments section, I think it's called, that is exactly what it's called. Um, and uh, yeah, or if there's any other videos that you would like to see, let me know. Um, to do with makeup, to do with hair, to do with skincare, I'm more than happy to share what I know or what I do with you my beautiful sisters so until next week if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button hit the notifications my video comes out every sunday and um, until next week just remember gray is okay see you then bye